Yeah, Ryan, your first day in, in Hartwell Arena as a as Joker player. Uh, just take me take me through the through the day. What's what's been going on? Um, yeah, I just kind of got showed around the locker room a bit and in the training room and stuff. And uh, I talked with Marcus, our goalie coach, and just kind of what to expect for next year and uh, uh, summer plans and things like that. So it's it's been pretty exciting so far today. Yeah, excited to be joining Jokerit and, and playing in the KHL. Yeah, of course. It's 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 always uh, kind of a dream to advance your, your career to the, to the next level, and this is the next step for me. And um, I, I've I know the city really well, Helsinki, and Finland's a great country. So very excited to, to join Jokerit for next year. Yeah. Did you have a chance to visit KHL games last season or, or watch them on TV? Uh, yeah, I, I always see the games on TV. I've never seen one live, but I've, I've watched them all and we have Viasat. So uh, I've seen a lot of Joker games actually in some St. Petersburg. So it's the hockey's great. Uh, it's going to be a, an exciting challenge. Yeah, what's what's the kind of the the top things about on your mind to in the, in the league just just in general? Um, you know, you know how good the league is. It's it's the second best league in the world. There's a lot of skill. Um, there's a lot of depth in, in the team. So um, that's the thing. You, you got to come every night to play. You know, it's going to be a challenge every night, and uh, you got to show up. There's no off nights in this league, so it's it's going to be exciting. Yeah. It's been five years since you left college and then played in the East Coast, of course, and and uh, and then Luko. Like, take us through the through the like the process and how how you de- developed as a as a goalie. Yeah, um, I played four years of college, and and as an undrafted goalie, it's it's kind of tough to to find a home in the in any minor leagues in North America. So um, I kind of bounced around the East Coast for a bit, and, and found a home in South Carolina, and that, that turned into a really good season for me. That got me the offer over here with uh, Luco. Um, coming here was was probably the best decision of my career to, to Luco. I got a chance to play a lot and work with a good goalie coach every night, so and every day. So. Um, yeah, you, you want to get better every year and, and every day, and, and I've been able to do that the last five years since leaving school. Yeah, what are the things you you become better at in in, in Finland? Um, you know, what I think mentally the game. Um, I, I've simplified it a lot, I think, and you don't really want to overthink it, especially as a goalie. It's you want to keep it as simple as possible, and um, just being able to work with a goalie coach every day, just just little things here and there, movements and stuff, and. Um, your hands, getting them more active, and things like that, and I think I've really improved over the, the last three years here in Luko. Yeah, yeah usually is uh, for the North American players. It's easy to come to Finland and adjust. Was it was it easier for you? Not not a, only the hockey, but but uh, lifestyle as well. Yeah, it was, and it was easier than I thought for sure. Um, I didn't know much about Finland as a country, and, and especially around, I didn't know anything about the town coming over. But I think the town was perfect for me. It was small and um, not a lot of. A lot going on outside hockey, so it was easy to adjust to, to the lifestyle, and, and it's really not much different than back home for me. So it's been it's been really good so far. Yeah, um, leaving college and and being a young player back then, what were your goals as a as a goalie? Yeah, to to make it to the NHL, of course, it's yeah. always everybody's goal. But you just want to play at the best level possible, and you want to play every night. And um, I'm, I'm still kind of chasing the dream of the NHL, but uh, this is the next step, and it's it's a good step. It's a great league, and and really excited to be here. Any familiar faces on on this team? Uh, just guys I've played against uh, in the past when, when they were in Liga. Um, I think there's a few guys left that, that played throughout the league. So um, nobody personally I know well, but it, it'll be exciting to come to a new team and, and meet some new guys. Yeah. You mentioned being being in Rauma, a, a little bit of a smaller town, but now coming to Helsinki, going to be a shock, or, or no. do you think you're going to be able to adjust over here as well? Yeah, of course. I mean, I know the city and. I, I know the people of Finland are all really nice and really welcoming, so that's that's the important thing. Um, it's somewhere I'm I'm familiar with too. I've been here a lot in, into the city, so um, I don't expect it to be too too big of a change, especially just coming to play hockey and, and you know how you have the guys all the time. So it's it's a uh, it'll be a good change, but it'll be it'll be an easy one, I think. Yeah. Uh, any special plans for for the summer bef- before the the camp starts in in July? No, nothing. Uh, no vacations planned as of yet. My wife and I got married last year. And we didn't get a chance to take a honeymoon, so we're gonna go somewhere, but we don't know where yet. But um, Nothing really, just training. Probably as soon as I get home, we'll start training and, and getting ready for the next season. Yeah. Finally, Ryan, uh, just what kind of goalie are are Jokeric getting? Uh, hopefully, a competitive one. It's uh, going to win a lot of games here, and um, I consider myself pretty calm and confident in there. So, I'm really looking forward to playing in front of the fans here. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you.